At the time we are starting the project, we were trying to give everything we have to make this project successful. We work with children in need and uh, we know the exact stories of uh, each child and it's very difficult and all our efforts are to help these children. So that's why it takes a lot of cost and a lot of attention. So trying to do our best to help them. Breath Care for Kids, the charitable organization, and it started from the running activity uh, of Nicolas de Borst. He ran several marathons in the t shirt of his favorite football team, Sparta Rotterdam, and uh, it brought so much positive publicity that uh, he and his friend Diderik van Hamstrap decided to organize a charitable foundation that will help children. The name Breath was chosen because breaths, uh, as you know, needed for running marathons and also they wanted to give uh, some extra breath for vulnerable children. Here in Kharkiv we have head office in Ukraine. Uh, breath Care for Kids um, have uh, local organizations uh, in such countries in Europe like Romania, Georgia, also in Ukraine. We are running several small group homes. I'm as a manager of Breath Foundation, work with all paperwork and our director Alexander Drival, he is responsible for maintenance of all the small group homes. Our long terms are to help vulnerable children uh, to grow up in stable adults, but our short-term targets are trying to meet the needs of children in medicine, in holidays and so on. So in common, we work with children from unfavorable families, uh, children that uh, are without parental care and uh, children that found themselves in very difficult situations, children that uh, came from boarding schools, 
children from the street, street children. We have very good contacts with local authorities. So um, in common, our children, the children that live in our small group homes, they came from boarding schools. They are chosen by local authorities also, as well as uh, foster parents who will be the parents in our houses. These are the children with certain stories and very often not very good stories. In the Netherlands, we work only with volunteers and in such countries, for example, like Romania, Breath, uh, Romania, the children protection, they pay all exploitation costs. In Breath, Georgia, so our foster parents, they're also employees of uh, Breath, Georgia. So we are trying to do as less cost uh, as possible, uh, not to pay in salaries, but to spend as much as possible for children and for the project. From the start, we need to receive a request from a project country. Then we think about this project in our mind, and of course we write it uh, on paper, make a research about costs, then finding finances and start a project. We have two houses that uh, have been renovated, and now they uh, operate uh, like our small group home. And wanted to tell you that we made up this uh, formula of small group home it means that children are cared in small groups, up to 10 children in uh, each home. And it means that it must be just a normal house in a normal street. We receive satisfaction when we, uh, or for example, if you see a project like this, we understand that we are doing everything to help them. We receive only positive positive emotions when you can see a child is smiling to you and you know that you made uh, a lot for these so this is the the best I think that ever could happen to you when you can see a child is smiling and downsides of course the good downsides but uh, our positive emotions they <laughs> they overwhelm yeah
Um, also here. wanted uh, to thank you because uh, we are very happy with your help, with your foundation, with your organization uh, that uh, you found spare time to come to Ukraine and to help us uh, and uh, thank you so much for your donations, for your efforts and we are open for cooperation always, for shared projects. So please welcome, thank you so much. Always welcome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we, we are really proud of your job. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. The best I think that ever could happen to you when you can see a child is smiling.